Oh. God damn the placement in here is setting these fucking cameras something else. Oh shit. I hate doing them in here, I swear I need to get me something built in here where I can put my fucking camera on. Anyways, what's up YouTube? It's crazy F car one two three three two one. First things first before I get to talking is gonna put me a dip in. Yep. Yep, gonna put me a dip in, boy. I think probably one of my last dips from Copenhagen Wintergreen. Let me get me another can. I don't know if I'm about to get one before work tonight. Oh, man. This guy done eat me a buttload of fish sticks. Not fish dicks. Fish sticks. Not dicks. Dicks. Dicks sticks. Sound the same, don't. Right. Anyway. Work last night, by the way, guys. It was pretty damn good. Um, me and this other kid named Logan, he's pretty badass, basically just sat around the whole time talking about cars, and, uh, I swear, every time I've been throwing a fucking dip in, it's going under my tongue, and I don't know why. Since a fucking bitch trying to dig it back out of there. Anyways, um, yeah, we basically just sat around last night after we got all of our shit done. Sat around, and talked about cars and shit like that. I'm the only one at Dairy Queen that chews, as far as I know. Um, which I expected that, but um, anyways. Work was good last night. Um, nothing really else happened. Just kind of sitting at home chilling today. Um, I got something in the mail though. It was pretty cool. Unexpected. So I will show you that. Anyways, it's from uh, Timberwolf. I'm not going to show you my address here. But, uh, Timber Wolf. I already opened it up and shit. And, uh, hopefully my camera doesn't fuck up, because it's been fucking up lately. But, uh, anyways. Uh. It says on the front, Pinkerton Tobacco Co. For men who like tobacco. Uh, la, la, la. Guide to snuff, Timber Wolf savings, details inside. So let's go inside. First thing you see is for men who like tobacco, the Timberwolf Guide to More Snuff, your chance to win more snuff for a year and savings you can use today. Let me open it up. That's what it looks like. And then it's got you two coupons, you got a dollar off one can, and then you gotta buy two cans, get one can free. Says I'm on the back right there. Uh, I always says, as a loyal Timberwolf user, you know good tobacco after thumbing through a guide to more snuff. You'll appreciate it even more. Read why every can is made for men who like tobacco. You could win a year's worth of more snuff, a new winner every week. Enter daily at Timberwolf.com. So if you guys like to win tobacco for a year, go to Timberwolf.com. I'm sorry, I keep on grabbing the camera, guys. Like I said, my camera's been fucking up. I really don't want to quit. So, and this little thing, I thought was pretty neat. Look at that. It's a little booklet. That's a pretty thick little book. I sent that to me. Uh, Pop-up letters on the front of it. It says, for men who like tobacco, the Timberwolf Guide to Moist Snow. Now, this is a guidebook to Moist Snow. Um... Anyways, and then they got a little uh, can on the back that's popped up. So, I'm not going to read through the whole thing because I've already looked through it. But, um, it goes through the crafting of it, the, the code of conduct, and dipping with decretion. And, uh, anyways, this thing really does have a lot in there. Um, I want to read this real quick. Go out to my friends and shit. Anybody who bums a dip. 
this little page over right here shows it says bumming dipped or bumming a dip. A dipper can always spot his own <coughs> sooner or later. You'll be asked to share the wealth in your can, whether you're asking for a dip or being asked. It's always good to live by a few honest truths. Here's what they are. A man can bum one dip per can. Any more, and you're freeloading. I get that a lot. People always dip or bum more than one dip off me. In that can. Treat a man's can the way you would his house. Don't be sloppy with it. Always use good pinch techniques. Never refuse a man a dip. Call it karma, call it goodwill, but when it comes to tobacco, what goes around comes around. Don't bum a dip off just anybody. Make sure they're dipping your flavor, otherwise you may not enjoy it. To a generous dipper, this comes off as a lack of gratitude. He'll surely take offense. Never take more than you're worth. If you don't plan on giving it back at some point or another, don't plan on taking it. Never, ever take a man's last dip. That's for damn sure. If one or all the above is broken, a man can close his lid to another and good. Whatever, I can't even read that word. Anyway, I'm fucking retarded. But, uh, yeah. So there's a little guide to go by, okay? Still going? Yes, six minutes and 45, whatever. Um, fuck. Anyways, um, something I really liked about this, they had a page in here, and it's called Creating the Perfect Spitter. Now, I'm going to make sure you guys can see this one. It's not a dark one, I've seen this. Anyways, right here it says, Creating the Perfect Spitter, and I got a picture of a guy at a bar spitting in a fucking bottle and shit. Anyways, I'll go ahead and read this to you guys. Look at all these little spitters people made. Always bring the right tool for the job. Same is true for spitters. No matter where you find yourself, the right receptacle at your own side to make the most of environment. Blah, blah blah blah. Here's a few tried and true models. The classic spitter, a white foam cup with a paper towel. This tried and true classic sips up or soaks up spit in case of tip over. A bar spitter, dark beer bottles allow tobacco enjoyment without offending others. You're on the go spitter, an empty beverage bottle, tall shape. Tampered head. Fits perfectly in your cup holders, reducing spills. I got spit. That's my spitter twist. Anyway, uh, <coughs> your corporate spitter, a to go coffee cup with a slit side for the office or in meetings. Each spit looks like a sip of coffee. The notebook, which is stupid. 10 to 12 pages of loose leaf paper wrapped in a tight cone, act like a sealed funnel, craftily and ingenious but with limited lifespan before completely soaked. And then you got your emergency spitter, which would be paper towels or an empty can of dip when nothing else is around. Use as spitters of last resort only. So, this video is about done already. God damn. But, um, then they got a picture of all their chew and shit. Talking about the new uh, Skull Peach to uh, Skull, or I mean, God damn it, Timberwolf Peach pouches. They tell you everything in here from how tobacco is grown, how to chew around girls, all that shit. It's pretty cool. I'll read more of these guys some other time. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to go over. Um, I don't know, nothing really, I guess. Tomorrow's my birthday, as I've already been telling you guys. Um, I don't know. I guess, I don't know, I had a lot more planned for this video, but there ain't much going on with it. So, go ahead and end this video, I'm going to kick back and enjoy my dip. Make me a good old Mountain Dew. And I will see you guys later. So, keep dipping, keep spitting, pack that lip real nice and tight like I got work today at 4.30 again, so I will talk to you guys later. Okay, Jeff, call one, two, three. Three, two, one. I'm out. Arr.